Kathy Wood's ARK Investment Management Exchange Traded Funds have been among the best uh, ETFs in 2020. Uh, in this video, we're going to talk about five of those best ETFs. And uh, the best part is these are the ETFs that Canadian investors here in Canada can buy in Canadian dollars. Uh, we're going to talk about those ETFs, what they are, their performance, and what holdings they hold. And lastly, I will be also sharing my own uh, game plan when it comes to investing in these uh, ARK Investment ETFs. Don't go anywhere. ARK Investment Management was founded back in 2014 by the famous investor Kathy Woods. ARK Investment has a sub-advisor here in Canada uh, known as Emerge, and they offer five of the best exchange-traded funds from ARK Investments in Canadian dollars. And uh, so that's the best part. Uh, let's take a look at these five best performing uh, ETFs and how their returns has been. As you could see here on the screen, these five products uh, from Emerge ARC ETFs include the EARK or Emerge ARC Global Disruptive Innovation ETF. We have EAUT or Emerge ARC Autonomous Tech and Robotics ETF. We also have EAFT or Emerge ARC FinTech Innovation ETF. EAGB, Emerge Arc uh, Genomics and Biotech ETF. And lastly, we have EAAI or Emerge Arc AI, Artificial Intelligence and Big Data ETF. And you can buy these both through uh, the, the common uh, brokerage accounts such as uh, Wealth Simple Trade. And you could also find them on Quest Trade. Uh, so easily found there and you can um, buy these ETFs there. But let's dive deeper and take a look at the performance of these five ETFs in the year 2020, how they performed, and also take a closer look at their uh, holdings and what kind of um, you know, offerings they provide to investors. All right, the performance levels that have been posted here on Emerge website are as of December 24th. And I did notice that many of these ETFs had a bit of a decline after that in between December 24th to today, which is we are on December 31st. So keep that in mind. All of these ETFs are also offered in USD, but for the sake of this video and for Canadian investors out there, we are focusing more so on that. Uh, EARK had a one year return of 151%. Um, and the year-to-date return for the year 2020, as of December 24th, was 151%. Then we had EAGB. This one is showing a year-to-date return of 188%. EAUT had a one-year had a year-to-date return of 97.6%. EAAI had a year-to-date return of 146.7%. And lastly, EAFT had a 100.4% year-to-date as of December um, 24th, which is just impeccable returns and magnificent return for these exchange traded funds. Uh, but I'm going to switch over to Quest Trade. And uh, the charting option allows us to take a quick look. And uh, if you select the year-to-date return, so what you're going to see here is uh, the orange one is actually showing for EAGB. So EAGB year to date return as of uh, December 31st was 123%. Just remarkable. We have 99% uh, return for EARK. We have 94% return for the base comparison EAAI. Then we have 73% return for EAFT. And lastly, we had uh, roughly about, I believe, um, looks like more so like 70% return, and that is for uh, nothing other than EAUT. For the sake of comparison, I've put in the performance of S&P 500. So S&P 500 year-to-date return as of December 31st was only 12%. Just look at the difference in between these exchange-traded funds um, versus the S&P 500. So uh, really keep that in mind uh, as we talk about um, you know the, the cost. Sometimes these impeccable returns are going to well um, you know, uh, cover the cost that you have to pay to have these actively managed exchange rate funds in your portfolio. But let's take a closer look at each one of them. So we're going to start off with EAGB, which had the, the best return uh, year to date based on Quest Trade numbers. So uh, you could see here that EAGB is an actively managed ETF that seeks to achieve long term growth of capital by investing primarily the, on the businesses that focus on enhancing the quality of uh, human and other life through technological and uh, scientific developments, improvements, and advancements in uh, genomics. Uh, obviously, the name suggests it's genomic and biotechnology ETF. 
you notice that the geographic allocation for this fund is investing mostly in companies in the Americas. The top 10 holdings for this ETF includes Invite, which uh, has 11.9% of the weightage, followed by um, CRISPR Therapeutics, 7.8%, and Pacific Biosciences of California with 5.3%. And you can see the rest as well, top 10 holdings for this ETF. Let's move on and take a look at the next one here. The next best performing was EARK or Emerge Arc Global Disruptive Innovation ETF. Here, as the name suggests, you are focusing more on uh, companies that uh, focus on disruptive innovation, introduction of technologically enabled new products or services, geographic allocation and focus on Americas, followed by Europe and Asia. Uh, as for top 10 holdings, if you look at it here, uh, this includes Tesla. The, the largest holdings here is Tesla with 10.3%, followed by Invite as well and Square. Uh, we also see companies such as Roku, um, 2U, Zillow, and Teladoc as well uh, among the top 10 holdings. Okay, let's move on and look at the next one, EAAI. As the name suggests, artificial intelligence and big data. Here, uh, the focus would be on companies in global equity securities of companies that are expected to be focused on artificial intelligence, big data, and the shift of technology infrastructure from hardware and software to the cloud. And among the top 10 holdings here, you see companies including Tesla, Square, Roku, Zillow, Facebook, Pinterest, C Limited, Spotify, 2U, and of course, PagerDuty. Um, you'd notice that there's quite a bit of overlap in between companies that um, different ETFs here hold. So um, Tesla was in a number of them that we saw, and in fact, it's among the top 10 holdings or uh, Roku or Square. Um, that is just the nature of these ETFs and the fact that many of these companies kind of belong to multiple categories. They are disruptive technology. They are focusing on, um, you know, pushing the boundaries of technology and making life easier. Uh, and of course, a lot of emphasis on cloud. Next, we have EAFT uh, or FinTech Innovation ETF because on the shift of financial sector and economic transaction towards payment infrastructure and uh, platform enabled uh, web-based technologies. Here we have, again, a largest exposure to American companies. Among the top 10 holdings here, we see Square, uh, Pinterest, uh, Aiden, Alibaba, and Intercontinental Exchange, and a number of others that you saw on the screen. Just a reminder that the percentages of the top 10 holding is as of September 30th. So there might be some changes to the percentages uh, when we look at the more recent data. Moving on, we have EAUT or Emerge Arc Autonomous Tech and Robotics ETF, as the name suggests, there would be a lot of focus on companies uh, looking into advancement in scientific research related to disruptive innovation in energy, automation and manufacturing materials and transportation. As for top 10 holdings, not surprisingly, we have Tesla, we have Materialize, and we have 2U, we have uh, Xilinx, we have Proto Labs, JD Alphabet, and a number of other uh, companies as you see here. Lastly, if you look at EAAI or Emerge Arc AI and Big Data ETF, here the focus is on companies in the field of artificial intelligence, big data, and the shift of technology infrastructure from hardware and software to the cloud. The top 10 holdings, as you could see here on the screen, include uh, companies such as Tesla, Square, Roku, Zillow, Facebook, Pinterest, and a number of others that you could see here on the screen. Just keep in mind that if you were to get these uh, ARK investment ETFs directly in the US uh, dollars, um, you would pay a lower management fee, which is hovering around 0.8%. Whereas because you're getting in Canadian dollars through Emerge, as we talked about, you're paying a higher fee. So the management expense ratio for uh, these ETFs that we talked about, as you can see here on the screen, are much higher. Uh, for instance, for EAGB, it is at 1.70% as of December 16th. For EAAI, it is at 1.68%. For EARK, it is at 1.70%. For EAFD, it is at 1.66%. And lastly, for EAUT, it is at 1.68%. So um, definitely you're paying that premium um, the fact that you're getting it uh, in Canadian dollars here. So there's the ESA uh, 
Um, you know, you don't have to necessarily convert uh, your funds uh, back and forth every time. So uh, keep that in mind um, if you are going to buy these uh, Emerge ARK Investment ETFs. But as for me, I do not currently own any of these shares, but I definitely am considering to add them to my uh, portfolio in the new year. And uh, in 2021, hopefully you would be adding uh, some of these to my investment portfolios. I hope you found this video beneficial, you guys, and uh, gained something of value. Here on Momentum Channel, we post... Uh, various videos about the stock market investing, finances, and financial freedom. Uh, these include um, videos about investing in the stock market for Canadians, as well as uh, those investors who are um, you know, non-Canadians. We talk about various stocks. So um, I hope you uh, follow our journey and subscribe to Momentum channel uh, if you haven't done that already. And if you did like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who might benefit from the video. It really helps the channel to grow. And I really thank you for that. With that being said, thank you so much, guys. Uh, have a wonderful day and I hope to see you next time.